First at 11, tragedy on the water. A young man on a boating trip with friends killed just off the Florida Keys. Lucas Alvarez was just months away from his high school graduation. Now, just one night after the tragedy, his devastated girlfriend shares her inconsolable grief. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Pinecrest with our top story at 11 tonight. Hank. Well, friends and family, morning uh, this evening here in Pinecrest. And yes, those Instagram posts are they're poignant. Let's take a look. Young love, Lucas Alvarez and his girlfriend. Pictures on Instagram. Lucas Alvarez gone, a tragic death. His girlfriend's words posted on Instagram. Yesterday was the hardest day of my life. We lost the most amazing son, brother, nephew, best friend, piano prodigy, and the love of my life. I'll never forget your touch, the way we looked at each other's eyes. I'll never forget how much we laughed and loved. I love you forever and ever. Amen. Into the night, cars parked near the home of Lucas Alvarez. Friends and family members coming to console, to mourn, not wanting to talk publicly about their grief. The same all day long as the shock of losing a young man so young becomes a tragic reality. Lucas Alvarez, a well-known captain of the Westminster Christian Lacrosse team, killed in a boating accident Sunday. It's tragic news to hear uh, somebody so young, uh, senior class for Westminster, um, about to graduate. So something hitting that close to home, I know the senior class is probably feeling it. Lucas Alvarez and three other young men in a center council 23-foot boat at Bowlegs Cut on the bayside near Isle Morada. The rest on board, not injured. According to an FWC accident information document, the vessel was cruising on the bay side of Isle Morada. The vessel was heading south and bow legs cut and struck a channel marker. Three occupants were ejected. Occupant Alvarez found in the water. He was transported to Mariner's Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. From what I know, you know, pretty good kid, you know, always involved with everybody, really nice, uh, nice to be around, uh, just a great kid in general. So, like I said, it's sad, sad news to hear. No information yet on funeral services for Lucas. Uh, there will be a school assembly on Wednesday in his honor. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you. Sad story, Hank. Thank you very much. A